Hey guys, Brendan here. Um, talking about this week, a bit of a talking point. Five reasons why the Springboks should be happy with their World Cup draw, even though they've got the All Blacks. This is, these are my reasons. Uh, number five. Should we do it the other way around? Anyway, let's start with number five. Okay. Okay, so number five is, is quite easy. It's, it's England. England, Eddie Jones aside, probably one of the biggest threats to, to the Springboks and to the All Blacks at that World Cup if they carry on like they do. I know there's going to be cynics out today that say the Springboks are probably their own biggest threats, but to be very honest, uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I think in two and a half years, if you think what England have done in two and a half years, if the Springboks can get it right, two and a half years is easily enough to get your side right for the World Cup. But there are certain things have to happen, and we'll have to see if that does happen with the Springboks. But the fact that England are in another group, and in the group of death, so to speak, with France and uh, Argentina, and possibly even Fiji or Samoa and the USA, makes it very difficult for them. They're going to have to perform to get in that group. Sometimes that helps you. Sometimes it's, it's, it's a good thing. But uh, mostly I think uh, you know, it puts them in a different group. It means that if they'll probably end up in the side on the opposite side of, of the pool for the box, and that's good so we don't have to face them until the final. Number four. Well, considering the box were number seven in the world, and uh, yeah, had had that in the, in, in the, you know, the in second band of, of teams, they didn't do too badly, to be very honest. The draw was quite, quite uh, nice to them. They don't have a Fiji or Samoa this year, and um, this World Cup, and that is huge. Because those games take uh, are physical and they take a lot out of the box. They don't like 2015 have a Scotland there as well. They do have Italy though. Italy did beat them last year, but to be honest, if the box can beat Italy at the World Cup, they don't deserve to be there. Let's be very honest. So I don't, I'm not worried about Italy. I think uh, there are questions about Brendan Fenter's role, but those will be answered in time. Uh, and I think that's the biggest thing. That number four is that the fact that they don't have a Pacific Island nation in their group for the first time. You know, in, you know, I'm trying to think, remember when, I think 2007 they had, and 2003, if I correct me if I'm wrong, they probably did as well. So first time in years that they don't have a Pacific Island nation, and that'll help the box in terms of physicality. Three, the other groups, uh, the number three reason is the other teams in the, in the pool should be relatively easy. You have the Africa Qualifier 1, let's hope, probably Namibia, I really hope it is Namibia for their sake. Uh, that will give the box some a bit of a test, and then you have the rapid charge, which we still have to see who it's going to be. That should be interesting in itself. Should give the box a good good chance to play their squad as well. And depending on how the draw goes when they play those teams, that might just help them. Of course, that could also work against you because you could go into the to the big games a bit underdone as well and not get the 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 uh, <laughs> yeah the practice you need. But I think most coaches would want a game like that, a game or two like that. To, to blood their players, to give them some game time, and just to get their stuff right. I think most, and injuries is another big thing as well. So hopefully that works in the box favor as well. Of course, there's several variables that might still come up, which we might not even know about, which we'll only find out there. But for that, I think the two easy uh, games in the box pool is not going to be a bad thing for them. Number two, knowing what they know now, and knowing the draw that they've got, the box can approach this with a lot of confidence. They know what to expect. There's nothing unknown in the group. There's nothing that's going to, no pitfalls. They know what their challenges are. Everything that, that they're going to face, they know. Apart from maybe the one or two minor teams. But apart from that, apart from that, they know exactly what their challenges are. And they can plan right away. And for the next two and a half years, have one sole focus. And that's the World Cup. Now the number one reason, and I see I've got a bit of sun breaking through here, that's not the greatest thing in the world I suppose in a video, but uh, no worries, maybe that is the light that's coming into the box lives. So the number one reason for me is, is quite easy, that they face New Zealand. And to be honest, I know a lot of people weren't happy about facing New Zealand, but for once we're not going to face them in, in, a, in, a, in a playoff round. And that's good for the competition, it means the box, if they do everything right, they can get to the final. And if in the final, they can face New Zealand, and that's what we all want. That's the final everybody wants to see. And to be very honest, it's, it's the worst part about facing New Zealand in the semi-finals was in 2015, it felt like that was the final already for the World Cup. I know there's a couple of cynics that are going to say, yeah, but we lost against Japan. Yes, we did. But to get back there to semi-final, that was the epic game. The final was an empty climax compared to that. So for me, the fact that they play, face the New Zealand in the pool round, great. You were always going to face one of the top four teams anyway, given being that you're in the second band. And that's maybe a good thing for the Springboks. 
Plus, you know, to be very honest, they play New Zealand so much nowadays, they play Super Rugby against the players, we know what to expect. Yes, we haven't beaten them for a long time, but World Cups are funny things, and they really show teams where the other team's weaknesses are. So if the box get it right, and I stress again, this all is, is based on good planning, not, not too many injuries, going in with your strongest team, and having a decent game plan by that stage, and I'm... I don't see any reason why we can't if we get things right. But if, if that's the case, and you face New Zealand there, we lost about two points against them or two or three points against them in the World Cup semi-final 2015. On that sort of stage, with that sort of pressure, the box will always be a good bet to, you know, to put your money on. So that's the other reason. That's the main reason I think it's a great thing. So those are my reasons. Hit the subscribe button below. Uh, yeah, or leave some comments. I always like to see what you guys think. Tell me if I'm talking uh, nonsense here or if you quite agree. But uh, that's what I think. That's why I'm very happy. And I'm going to be looking forward to that game in 2019. The box, two and a half years. Now the ball's in your court. Work hard. Playing well. Get the right team there. And there's no reason why they can't win that game. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, chat to you next time. Cheers.